So right here, I'm just going to prime my skin with the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I love this one. It's a really good um, silicone base primer. It makes your skin very soft, and I'm just going to buff this all into my skin. And right here, I'm going to take the KDB Cosmetics mineral foundation in G400 and I am going to use a beauty blender by KDB and I'm going to press this into my skin and just blend it all together. Right here I'm going to take the NYX Mineral Stick Foundation in Caramel and I'm going to do a little bit of a cream contour. And then I will also be taking NARS uh, Radiant Concealer in Custard and MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. And I'm just going to blend all of these out. right here I'm going to take the Airspun Translucent Powder and the Ben Nye Banana Powder. I'm going to mix them together and then take a triangular sponge and press it into the skin on all the places I highlighted and then to clean up my contour. So right here I'm just going to take a blush brush by Sigma. You can also use an angled brush if it's easier. And then I'm going to take NARS Laguna and I'm just going to deepen up my contour. And right here I'm just taking that NARS concealer and placing it on my lids just to kind of prime my eyes a little bit. So right here I'm going to use the Lorac um, Pro Palette, the gray one, and I'm going to take the color Buff 
and I am going to place it all over my lid all the way up to my brow bone. Then right here I am going to take the color light brown and I'm going to take a MAC 224 and I'm going to buff this into my crease and as you can see I am going at an angle and hitting my um, inner eyebrow and this is going to just help bring my eye up a little bit and keep that color very high. Then I am going to go in with the color Cool Gray and using the same brush and I'm just going to buff it into my outer eye and then go into the middle of my crease a little bit and just blend those two colors together very well. Then we will take the Sigma E25 blending brush with the color Plum and we are just going to place this on the outer corner of our eye just to darken it a little bit. Here we will take the Sigma Short Shader E20 brush and we're going to take that plum color and we are just going to buff it in our, um, on our lower lash line and you can apply as much or as little as you want. Um, try to keep the darkest color on the outside, whoa, you see that? <laughs> uh, I think I did that a few times. Um, and we're just going to go back in with that blending brush and just, yep, and just <laughs> blend it out a little bit more. So right here I'm going to take that short shader brush again. Of course you can use a different brush, I just grabbed this one. But I'm going to go in with the color beige and I'm just going to place it on my lid and the inner corner of my eyes. And then I'm going to take my finger and I am going to dip it into mocha and just place it on top of that. And then I am going to go in with the color Snow and Buff and I'm just going to mix them together and then I'm going to go in and highlight my brow bone. And I'm just going to apply some Maybelline Great Lash Mascara on my bottom lashes and just put a tiny bit onto my upper lashes. Then I'm just going to fill in that waterline with the new um, NARS, well it's new to me, um, NARS eyeliner in black and I'm going to also put it on the top and just wing it out a tiny bit. Now for the part that takes the absolute longest, I'm going to use Katie B's brow gel in Katie and I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows.
Now we are going to lightly dust off all of that loose powder and then I am going to go in and I am just going to darken up my contour a little bit and finish everything off. going to take a pop of NARS blush in deep throat and I'm just going to place it onto the apples of my cheeks and blend outward. And then my favorite product right now, I'm loving this stuff, but this is the uh, Cheek Shock by ColourPop in Wisp. And it's such a pretty highlight. I absolutely love this color so much. I totally suggest it. Um, yeah, it's just so light and shimmery and pretty. And it's only like eight bucks, so definitely a must. Then I am going to go ahead and use the lip liner in Boldly Bare by MAC. And then I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Lipstick in Beige 2. That was in my last video. And I really, really love this color. I think it's just a really, really pretty nude peachy pink kind of color. And here is my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any more makeup requests, just leave them down below. Thanks, guys.